if you guys have seen my room, you know that I own a ton of posters, and I get comments all the time asking me where I get them, so today I'm going to be showing you how I get them. One of my favorite places to look for posters is vinyl because a lot of times artists will put posters and other things inside of there that make for really good posters and room decor per se. And a lot of times they have to do with your favorite album, so what's not to love about that? I got Pilgrim Harry from Fine Line and I've gotten a lot of my posters from this album which is Apricot Princess by Rex Orange County because there's a lyric book inside of it with lots of pictures and posters. I know a lot of people would say not to rip out lyric books but don't cancel me, I think they make fantastic room decor and every time I see it I want to go listen to the album. So you're getting your money's worth and it's just a good reminder of some of your favorite albums and artists. The next place that I look, it was inevitable guys, is Pinterest. I love Pinterest, I say it pretty much every single one of my videos and if you guys aren't following me on there, you definitely should because I have some amazing boards and I put all of my time and effort into Pinterest to be honest. Um, I do have a board with posters that I like and basically what I do is I just go through and pick out which ones I think match the vibe of what I'm going for. Um, sometimes I just pick random ones, like I saw this one first and it caught my eye, so I kind of went with that color scheme. So I download the photo and then I repeated that step with all of the other posters that I found. Obviously if you can find the artist of art that you're using, make sure you go buy it from them. But for people who do not A, have the money for that, or B, are not using artwork from artists, there are two ways that I like to print things. The first way that I like to do this is by using FedEx. You go to design and print and then upload a print ready file. Once you're in there, there are a lot of different options that you can use to print, but I like to use the marketing materials and then hitting flyers because that's the cheapest option and it's what fits my room best. So then you have the option to drag the files that you downloaded into there. And yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Once your file downloads, then it's going to take you to a new page and you're going to want to hit continue with editing, um, unless you're worried about the size, which I wasn't too worried about this. And then you're just going to want to choose your size, paper, etc. Different things will give you different prices, so you just want to kind of mess around with it until you find what you like. Luckily with this, you can print things for as cheap as 40 cents, so that's great. And then obviously the next option is to print from home. I have a printer that I use for my photography because I like to make prints for myself and for other people that I take pictures of. So that is what I'll be using today. If you're on a Mac, you go to your downloads and then you use shift and then select all the ones that you want to print out. And then you're gonna hit command P to make sure that you get it printed and in the queue ready to go. Then of course you're going to want to cut them out. Um, you can do this as specific as you'd like and if you don't like the rectangle of the poster you can cut it however you want which I think is kind of the fun part about this. But yeah, now we're going to start decorating. Um, I use masking tape to put on my walls because that way it doesn't rip off the paint on my walls because I, I do like the paint on my walls. Um, you can also use like painter's tape or other things like that or that um, sticky stuff like putty that you can use. Um, but I don't find that to work that well so I just use masking tape. While I'm putting up the posters, I really just kind of eyeball it. I try to see where it looks good. And luckily with the masking tape, it's not, you know, like permanently stuck to the wall so I can kind of move things around. Um, when needed, but the bottom left poster is from the Rex Orange County album and then everything else is just kind of random. I painted the sunshine, um, the Chicago things are from a um, like college thing that I was sent and then I just put some Polaroids down there and we're done. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below which one of the posters was your favorite. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.